Well, I guess it's um, it's just people with a great idea um, and then actually making it work um, and putting it into practice because I think that's the hard thing. You all, we, we all have really, really good ideas, um, you know, but actually like, you know, going out there and putting yourself out there and do, doing something completely different to what other people do. That's what I'd call ambition anyway. So are you ambitious? Um, I think I definitely am. I don't, ambitious, yeah, to a point. I, um, I love creativity. I like, um, I like doing things differently. Um, I really love a challenge and I love a really good project, you know, and I love getting my teeth into a really good project. So I guess that's being ambitious, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about this project you're involved with here. Okay, so Steampunk HQ, um, it's pretty awesome really. Um, it's uh, the Victorians' idea of what a world might have looked like without electricity if the world was still run by steam-powered uh, machinery. Um, it's something really, really different. Um, it's a genre that's been around since about the 1980s. Um, it, we, the, the group of people that started up Steampunk here in Omaru, um, there, were, there were two groups actually. So Brian De Geest owns this building here um, at the Steampunk headquarters. Um, he was approached by two artists, Don and Jack, and um, they thought that this would be a wonderful use for the space. Um, at the same time, um, the, the Victorian League of Imagineers was setting up Steampunk in Omaru and um, because, you know, with these wonderful Victorian buildings, um, they thought that it would be a great, you know, backdrop for steampunk um, and it would be a way of putting Omru on the map. So I got involved um, pretty much near the start um, when they were looking at actually setting this um, building up here as a steampunk headquarters and my sort of background and, and, and my purpose here was just to make sure that this project got off the ground and that this place opened up and became a thriving tourist attraction, I guess, which is what it is now. So to go back to um, when we talked about are you ambitious mm -hmm. and you said yes, why do you think you're this way? Isn't that funny? It's, I don't know. Um, ambition, is it something that's just in you and something that, that, that you're born with or is it something that you learn? I don't really know. Um, I've really always been this way. I've always, um, I'm one of those people, I don't know, I sort of put it down to my star sign, maybe. I'm an Aquarius, so I don't like to be the same as everybody else. I like to do things differently. Um, so I guess if someone said black, I'm the person that would always say white. Um, ever since I was young, I've always had these sort of like ambitions with things like when I played sport, I always wanted to be the best. You know, so when I went out working, you know, and got my degree and went working, I wanted to create really cool stuff. So, I don't know, how do you become ambitious? Is it, is it just within you or, you know, is it something that people have or, yeah, I don't know. What's the answer? That's the whole point of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you tell me please, who is the most ambitious person that you know? Or could you describe to me the most ambitious person that you know? You know, I know this is really weird, but the guy I work with, Brian, is probably one of the most ambitious people that I've ever known. He um, He's always thinking of a new project, something that will benefit the town, something that will um, be different, something that other people don't look at. Um, you know, he's just incredibly um, driven and ambitious in that he's, um, the sky is the limit and no project is stupid. Nothing's too small to be investigated. Um, yeah, he's very inspirational, and as such, he's a very successful person. So Brian's the guy that owns Steampunk HQ. He also um, has um, Diggies Construction, or he's the, the owner of Diggies Construction in Omaru here, and um, he has a lot of involvement with property and, and other um, projects. So is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? Um, I think ambition... I, it's interesting. I don't think there's limits to ambition. I, I think you the only limits are yourself and and your fear, I guess, of failure. Um, and I guess we all have that. Um, I don't know. You know, maybe when I think about it now, you know, I'm sort of at a stage in my life where maybe ambition isn't as important as it used to be um, because, you know, there are other things that I want to do, you know, so... Yeah, I don't think so. I think, and I don't think people should be afraid of, um, you know, or limit themselves by their ambition with their ambition because I think the sky is the limit and the world is your oyster. I know they're cliched sayings, but it is true. Um, and if you have the courage to go out there and actually take action and well, research, I guess, and doing due diligence is so important. But um, yeah, I don't think there should be limits to it.